barbershop conversation guys feel free to hit the subscribe button so eddie hearn proves me right guys i told you guys this months ago aj well done. yes sir so you yes, can spit a little bath we give you a couple words ah. sitting there listening to youtube watching everybody's videos uh i told you guys months ago when this app was coming out that eddie hearn will begin to have to overpay to get these fights on the road and i told you fighters how uh to leverage yourself so you can secure yourself basically one fight on eddie hearn's app will secure your family for a long time if you if you invest uh the first big one and we're just going to assume that it's true i'm not choosing eddie hearn's side but i'm just telling you we're just going to go under the assumption that this is true we all know he lies 99 percent of the time <laughs> the only time he doesn't lie is when he is when he can't talk that's when he sleep right so uh he offers deontay wilder seven or eight million dollars to fight now that's i don't know what percentage over what deontay wilder gets paid uh, 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 I'm not gonna begin to speculate, but let's just say Deontay Wilder made four million dollars his first fight. I mean, he's made four million dollars in one fight. That's double what he had. That's a one hundred percent increase. So I want all PBC fighters hold your water. He's gonna get desperate, and he's gonna get anxious because he will be under the gun and under immense pressure to put on these cards. And he can't put on these cards with Jesse Vargas fighting uh, a guy from Nicaragua that no one's ever heard of. He can get away with it for one card, maybe two cards, but moving forward, he can't do it. And the reason why, I, I, and I told you guys on the video, so some of this may be repetitive, he wants to leverage Anthony Joshua in the Deontay Wilder fight as the buildup on his DAZN app. So by April, the subscription base will be so strong and highly anticipating the Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder fight that you got to hold on. So uh, not only will you on this channel get <laughs> real estate advice, great boxing advice, I'm still undefeated. Uh, I'm going to do my prediction video for Devin Alexander, Andre Berto this week. And um, in addition to that, uh, you get contractual advice. Now, I'm not the expert on contractual. I'm just a con I'm just a guy who's just, uh, just pragmatic and has common sense and uh, has dealt with $5 contracts to multi-million dollar contracts as it relates to property and, you know, the movie industry, et cetera. So... Uh, so I will. So, so listen to me, PBC. Hold your water, and 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 if if I can take it down to our level, when you go buy a car, hold your water. Everyone gets anxious when they go buy a car. Walk out of the dealership. They will call you first thing in the morning. You don't think that car sells and wants to make that sale? He has a hundred of those same cars on the lot. He's trying to get that sale. And he has 99 more to sell. The object is to move these cars. All right. And I just want to reiterate that and just remind everyone that uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a talent. It's a skill to negotiate contracts. It takes patience. It takes endurance. It takes personal belief that you have self-worth. And... Uh, I'm telling all these PBC fighters, if he offers you two million, you definitely can get six. I know it because I've started businesses before, and I know how uh, under immense pressure it is. Not on that level, not on a billion dollar level, on a thousand dollar level. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, but I know what it, what he has to do for the the Zone app to be successful here in America. And uh, he's going to begin to start paying media outlets. We'll never know who he pays for the most part. He's going to begin to start paying these promoters. Uh, he's going to get some mouthpieces. He's going to go to, uh, it's going to be like COINTELPRO. It's going to be a COINTELPRO operation. No disrespect to the realities of COINTELPRO, if you guys are familiar with that. And I know all my subscribers are, are pretty hip to COINTELPRO, but uh, it, 
it's going to be a COINTEL pro operation, right? Where he's going to get moles, he's going to have money, and he's going to look to friends, promoters, girlfriends, and come with me. I'm going to hold you hostage or suffer the consequences, or I'm going to give you so much money that you can't, you cannot say no. And I'm going to take it up a notch for all the PBC fighters. I need you guys to listen. Get an advance. Like, get a guarantee. Get an advance separate from your contract. Like uh, a signing bonus. Get a performance bonus. Get a knockout bonus. Get a training camp bonus. Whatever bonuses you could think of, he will willingly pay. You know, especially if it's like $100,000, $200,000, $300,000. He will willingly pay that because his cash out is in the hundreds of million dollars if he can get this app up here in America. Oh. And, and think you are being leased. So, for example, I'll, I'll give you guys an example. If, uh, if you sign up for the, the Zone app, the DAZN app has leased you for that amount of time. So you are now personal property of the DAZN app. So if Deontay Wilder, even if he fights on Showtime, right, leading up to uh, the Anthony Joshua fight, um, Eddie Hearn will create a marketing plan that will um, douse the flames of the Showtime fight, but more importantly, enhance his brand enhance his brand with the DAZN app. He will have contracts like maybe he has to have DAZN on his trunks or something like that. All that's coming. But I'm just telling you guys. I told you guys my very first video about this app two months ago. Was this in May when it was announced or something like that? May? Something like that when I found out? Early June? Somewhere in there? Somewhere in there. I told you guys what will happen. And here's the catch part two. I also said the opponents and I've had this conversation with five important people in boxing. I said, hold your water and then go rob Eddie Hearn. He's going to need opponents for his fighters. And, and by the looks of it, he's going to need fighters. He doesn't have any American fighters that can, that can pull over 5,000 tickets. I'm just, I'm, these are just facts. No disrespect to Jesse Vargas, Jarrell Big Baby Miller, Boo Boo Andrade, um, was it Daniel Roman and uh, who else? Amir Khan, uh, Kell Brook. So I'm I, I'm uncertain if Matchroom is the zone. So, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure it'll work its way out. So, but um, but yeah, man, I told you this day was coming. I told you guys this day was coming. Hold your water. That $15 million. And uh, I'll say this. Now, I'm, I'm not even going to go into that, those those conversations I've had. But I I told people that this day was going to come. I When I knew Eddie Hearn was getting at the zone app, I, I called people who had fighters. And I said, hold your water. I guarantee you Eddie Hearn is going to go. It's not... He's not even going to offer you. He's going to chase you down with the money. He's going to fly to America on a private jet, pull up at your house with a, with a case full of money to get you to fight one time on a DAZN app, maybe in your city. So here's what I want you guys to do. Get a uh, signing bonus and get performance incentives. All right, you, you can have all those for basically free. He's going to be desperate. He's not going to be publicly desperate. All right, and if I'm a PBC fighter, I, I wouldn't shame him. I wouldn't shame him at all because at the end of the day, it's uh, um, it's uh, it's your livelihood. It's your last name. I wouldn't sign with Eddie Hearn because if you perform well. If you knock out the guy, if you knock out one of his guys, beat his guys, guess what? The people at the DAZN, they're going to want you back because now the person he signed is basically beneath who the person who was unsigned. 
So I would definitely, if you believe in your talents, do a one fight deal with the zone for three times what you would make normally, right? And then just sit back and wait. Now get three times what you have plus a signing bonus. I want $300,000 just to sign my name. If I get a knockout, I want $150,000. I don't know what the bonuses are in boxing. I'm just saying that. Like, if you make an all star game, you get the bump up, right? If a college coach makes NC2A tournament, if he wins his conference championships, you guys understand what I'm saying? If he gets a top 100 recruit in the program, like, these are all these bonuses that they offer. So I just want to uh, um, uh, j just encourage the PBC fighters and, and, and any other fighters, you know, this video should be your bible should, should encourage you to do your research this isn't a uh uh step by step but if you need help feel free to contact me you know i'll help as much as i can and i'll refer you to a lawyer i'm not a lawyer i'm like i said i'm just a man with common sense who have done these i've done this i've done things like this over the, over the past 10 years more times than i can count you understand what i'm saying so um uh, it's like similar to when I'm buying a property. W when I realize the property's been on it 60 days, I hold my water. Come to me. Come on. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. I know you need this money to fulfill another obligation, so I need you to come to me. I need you to bend a little bit. If it's 90 days, I need you to bend a little more. If it's been on the market six months, I really need you, I really need you to break your back to sell me this property. I'm being real. And uh, so... Congratulations. Every fighter is in a great position if you're an A level or have A level star appeal. Even B plus level, B level, you might be in the ballpark, you know? Like a, a gay Brazado. If he's in Creed 2, when that, when that, or Tony Belly, well, he already has Tony Belly, I believe, right? Uh, when, uh, when that happens, you become very popular. Like a guy like Andre Ward. Andre Ward is literally, I believe he's a free agent, right? I'm not sure if he's with Rock Nation, but uh, well, I think Rock Nation, I, I'm not, I can't speak on that because I know some people may hear it and believe it, uh, but I'm uncertain if they still have their boxing division um, or if they do, they're not looking to increase it. But a guy like Andre Ward should, should, should uh just throw out a jab oh i'm interested i wonder what eddie Hearn is talking about and then but they've already reached out to him to come out of retirement and fight a fight in oakland at the oracle arena why not <laughs> right it just makes too much sense man tim bradley you know he's he's like he's equivalent to a jesse vargas but he has a name you know if he wants to come back and make two million dollars on the fight i'm pretty sure eddie eddie Hearn can accommodate him you know, it'll probably be in a tough fight. <laughs> See, the beauty of Eddie Hearn is he can have free agent fights, too. So, for example, um, he can have, I'm giving you a hypothetical situation. Timothy Bradley, I know different weight classes, so I'm just giving you guys an example. Timothy Bradley, who I believe is retired and just, I don't know if he's under fighting contract, but he works for top rank now. He can fight. Let's say an Andre Ward. He can do free agent fights, but maybe Eddie Hearn even thought this far beyond yet. He's just thought about guys he's signed. So maybe I'm giving him up on game two. So, um, so, and he can have Andre Ward fight Timothy Bradley, and Andre Ward make four million dollars. Timothy Bradley make two, and you obviously get your signing bonus, your your performance based incentives, and uh, you move forward. So, um, uh, so yeah. Um, so, so that's basically it, man. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Eddie Hearn will be getting anxious. He will be getting anxious. He's going to ride high now because he's got all the endorsement deals coming in for the Anthony Joshua fight. So he's going to ride high and he's selling Anthony Joshua to everyone who's willing to buy him. You know, it, it, it's going to cost you two, two pretty pennies, but, uh, if you if you have money and you want to get into boxing, here's your opportunity. <laughs> and you want to be behind a uh, heavyweight champion? I'm just talking about 
semantics. I'm talking about facts right now. I'm not saying Anthony Joshua is the baddest man on the planet. Uh, but anyways, man, so that's pretty much it. Um, I appreciate you, Eddie Hearn. You proved me right. Every And it's funny how uh, uh, the UK fans and just ignorant American fans uh, who just like being... Uh, who just like being the villain and every day just come in the comment section and they comment and uh but it makes their day so i want you know i always wonder if i block somebody how much of their day wouldn't go as well because there are people who live in the comment section and it makes their day like it really makes their day i don't care put your comments in i don't care Haters are fans. They just don't know it. My haters are my biggest fans because they watch every video, every second of every video. And if I if I misspell I in a title, they're going to tell me I misspelled I. If I misspell A in the title, they're going to tell me I misspelled it. I don't care. Feel free. Watch every second of the video and share it with your friends so y'all can hate. And, and, uh, but yeah, man. So anyways, man. Eddie Hearn, salute. You proved me right once again. Like I said, this is the channel where you guys want to get information from a pragmatic perspective. I don't know everything, I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm, but because when you're pragmatic, I believe you'll be right 70, 70, 80 percent of the time. You may not get the results you want, but you will be right. Do you understand? So uh, anyways, man, barbershop conversations. Appreciate you, Eddie Hearn. Uh, Deontay Wilder, hold your water. Tell me you want to fight Tony Bellew for $15 million. See what he says. Barbershop Conversations. Hit, hit the subscribe button and uh, follow me on Instagram. Click the link in the description box. And as I told you guys, anybody, I need hookups on hotels. <laughs> Anyone who got the hookups on hotels, feel free to hit me. And uh, we'll move forward from there. Appreciate you guys. Peace. Oh, F-H-A-W-17 at Gmail. F-H-A-W-17 at Gmail. Peace.